Thanks for joining us here today on Big Sioux Media as we are doing an interview with the Dell Rapids Library. Big uh, changes coming starting on Monday with a new opening, so thanks for joining us here this morning. Uh, before we get into the big announcement with the opening coming up here in a few days, I'll talk a little bit about how the summer program has gone. So I know a lot of that was, or all of it was online, so how, how has that gone this summer? It was a very interesting summer. Um, we learned a lot of new skills. Um, we learned about how to use GoPro, how to do video editing, editing um, how to be comfortable in front of the camera, or as comfortable as possible <laughs> for for us who are used to you know doing everything in front of our our audience. You know, having to pretend that they're there. Um, I had a really good time though. I enjoyed being able to um, still share my talents with our kids. Um, I think it was pretty pretty well attended. Um, we had some pretty decent numbers as far as views. Mm -hmm. um, we still had people viewing not only from our little community but from all over, uh, which is very fun to be able to, to share that with, with others. Um, our uh, reading part of the summer reading program is wrapping up. Um, the last day to read and count your reading is this week um, on Friday, right? Okay. Yes. Yep. yep. On Friday. Friday at midnight. Yep. Everything has to be logged. Um, we have changed our logging um, abilities on Read Squared to where you can go in and log all your all your minutes in one go. Um, so For those that procrastinated and yeah. forgot. <laughs> yeah. Like us. Like us. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll do bedtime stories and then you know straight to bed and forget to log stuff. Yeah, so that's exactly. good. Yeah. <laughs> And that's been a real learning experience for us too, um, you know, using this program for the first time yeah. and seeing what works for our own patrons and, and what doesn't. So mm -hmm. we thank everybody for being patient with us yes. as we learn and, and see what works and what doesn't. And Huge learning curve. Yeah, definitely. But I think all in all it was a pretty big success. Um, we will have prizes available still here at the library through the middle of August, mm -hmm. so don't um, don't worry that you've missed out on that. You can still come and get them. So. You you mentioned that uh, you got a lot of views. The numbers look pretty good. How about uh, have you s know any numbers about how many kids have participated in the reading program? Can you see that with the app? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Um, we can. Our numbers are down. Um, you know, from to previous. Be yeah, but better than I think we expected. We have, they're way better than I expected, to yeah. be honest. We have close to 350 people, um, that's babies through adults, sure. that have chosen to participate on the app. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that we're noticing as we're getting closer to prize time is we have a lot of patrons who have chosen to do the paper logs mm -hmm. who have not logged on to Read Squared at all. And so we are adding them in as they come in. And so I think our numbers are going to go up even more. Yeah, I think we'll probably that. get close to 400, which mm -hmm. is not super far off from our original. I mean, for doing everything <laughs> online, sure. that's like fantastic. Yeah, we're very fantastic. pleased. Yeah. And how about uh, the activities? Because I think you guys had like activity bags that people could pick mm -hmm. up for the month of June and July. Have you heard any feedback on how that's gone? We've gotten a lot of pictures and mm -hmm. videos from parents of their kids. Um, they've had a lot of fun with it. And it's been have. fun for us to see those pictures because we're like, okay, good. They, they are doing it. They are liking it. They're having fun. Um, so that's been really fun is just seeing them do the crafts or um, join us on our Zoom activities mm -hmm. um, and just getting to talk and connect with them in that way. I mean, that was probably one of the most fun things is getting to connect with them over yeah. Zoom if they could, if they could join. And now you're gearing up for the next phase of the opening, so let's talk about that. What does that look like as I, I see it comes up on Monday? Yes, yep. So we get to open back up to the public Monday, August 3rd. Um, so it's going to be a little different. We have some temporary hours. Um, so we'll be open Mondays from 9 to 6, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 9 to 3, and then the first Saturday of the month, starting in September. So I think it's Saturday, September 5th, mm -hmm. will be our first Saturday, and that'll be nine to noon. So that's probably the biggest change is um, our hours aren't our full normal operating hours, but we're at least back open sure. like all day and, and one evening. Um, we're still gonna be doing curbside service. So if people um, still don't feel comfortable coming into the building, we are still offering curbside service so they can just call us and we will run everything out to them. Um, we aren't gonna have computers available for children. We'll have four adults computers available. 
um, for non-recreational use. So if you need to like fill out a job application or unemployment okay. benefits or do your census or something sure. like that, they can do that. Um, probably the other biggest thing okay. is um, face masks are strongly encouraged. So they're not required when you enter the building, but they are strongly encouraged. And we will have masks available at both desks. So if you are wanting one and you don't have one, um, you can just come in and we have them too. So. Now, I, I know you haven't started it, but uh, you kind of came up with this plan of different phased approach. Mm -hmm. So is there any timeline as to how long this may last? Or is it kind of a, we're gonna wait and see how you know weeks go by and adjust from there? Yeah, it's, it's very fluid. So sure. what we're moving to on Monday is technically phase two. Um, we have no idea, honestly, right. how long we'll be there. Um, so phase three is to be determined. You know, obviously we just wanna keep moving forward um but um we have a very very supportive library board and our city administration and council um and the the south dakota state library they give us each entity gives us really good direction and is really involved in in what we're doing and um wanting to keep not just us safe but our community members safe so they they really give us a lot of good direction and i think some of it's going to kind of depend on what happens with school um, right. So that, that definitely plays a factor into that too. So we're hoping that we will be in phase two for a while and that we will get to move forward, but it's, it's very fluid um, mm -hmm. and decisions are hard to make and we're just gonna do the best that we can and let everyone know in every possible way if there are any changes, so. The final question I have is with moving to this new phase and being, you know, a, more open now, is, is there any change to uh, programming that you guys might have that's coming up or is that still kind of going to stay where it's at? It's going to basically stay where it's at. Um, right now, we cannot have any programming in the library through the remainder of the year. So we still plan on having like our fall story times, we do winter story times, um, we will have adult programs and teen programs but it's all going to be done online. So we're gonna be filming everything, posting it online. So it's not the same. And you know, we definitely miss seeing all of our families and, and our people at these programs, but um, we're at least offering something and they're getting to connect with us in, in some way with these programs. So be on the lookout for that because we do have fall story time coming up in September after Labor Day. So that'll be our first big jump back into programming when summer reading's done, so. Uh, anything else that uh, you guys want to share that would be good for the public to know? Thank you. I think that's it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, the the library itself, when you come in, will look a little bit different too. Um, yeah. We've made a few changes um, as far as seating and um, what what is available and yep. what's not, but. I think everybody will be able to figure all that yeah. out. It's more of a grab-and-go service sure. right now. It's yeah. a grab-and-go service. So you can come in, you can still browse, you can get get what you want, but there's not really any space really sure. to hang out right now. Yeah. So We're so excited to get to see everybody again. Yeah. It's, it's been very lonely. It's been very lonely. <laughs> this building needs people. It needs... Yeah. We, we need people. We need people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to, to share with us a new plan and the next steps. And, and thank you again for all that you guys do. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.